by living in the UK, just by looking at the pictures. Okay. So now, a lot, some of you have been looking at the other side. You, you are very interested, and I, I see you turning over, which is which is which is okay. But we can do that now. Yeah, you, I know you were like, woo. <laughs> <laughs> on the other side. Okay. So um, yes, now now is the time we can we can look at the other side. So what what my students have done, what my students have done is that um, I, well, that my students took these pictures. So my students took these pictures for you. Okay. What my students have done is that they've written what the picture shows, and if 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 you are not sure. You can just raise your hand and I, and I will come and explain if you are not sure what it says. And on the other side is an activity for these pictures. So for example, <coughs> which I like to do. So for example, um, this card was, was done by one of my students called Thomas. And Thomas has written on the back, so I, I read this. <coughs> In Britain, many people have hobbies that they're all different. They're all different. In Britain, Many people have hobbies that they do in their spare time. Some of these hobbies include sport, learning to play musical instruments, and exercise. However, in the UK, these hobbies can cost quite a lot of money to pay for. Okay, Because money is not always good. In the UK, we may have lots of money, but it, it is not always good. Okay, please, please do you know, that. Money, money is useful. Money can help with life. But money does not equal happiness. Okay, remember, we're in the UK we have too much money. It is possible. All right, it is possible. Um, yes. Okay. So, um, also, people who do not have these hobbies can sp uh, have spare money and spare time. But uh, Thomas thinks that if you do not have hobbies, you are less interesting. That's what he says. He says that if you do not have hobbies, you are boring. <laughs> so, my, my hobbies, it says here, Thomas, Thomas asked the, the, the student, do you have hobbies? Yes, so, yeah, so me, me, um, uh, Divakonda football. Mm -hmm. I like football. Yeah, I, I support Tottenham Hotspur. Okay, I like football, I like walking, I like visiting people in Malawi. <laughs> I, I like to travel. Um, I like to play uh, a musical instrument called the saxophone. I don't know if you've heard of it. It's a, mm. it's a big musical instrument that you hold like this and you, and you blow in it. Mm. It's called the sax saxophone. Um, and I, I like talking to my wife. That's a hobby. So a hobby is for a Yes. Yes. So, um, my, so they are my hobbies. A hobby is something you enjoy that you do in your spare time. Okay, so you can see that this here is asking you to think. So if you look on the other side of your card, yeah, they, the students are asking you to do something. Now if you are not sure, my, my, my students say sorry, because my students obviously has, they, they, they speak English fluently, and when my students type and write, they forget that you guys are still learning English. So they forget that you are still learning English. So I say to my students, you know, little English, easy English, easy English, but some of them might have been a bit heavy with the English. So if you are not sure, you can put your hand and I will come and help you. Okay? Please, please, please do not. We're here to help you, us teachers. So do not be shy, do not be afraid to put your hand up. Okay? Right, so. Um, I will give you some time. Um, I will give you 